Hello everyone, Alarshade here, and I'm here to talk to you today about transferring items in single player. Um, sometimes what you can do if you're if you have multiple CD keys, you can transfer them in single player uh, using the other multiplayer and TCP IP connect, but that is a super big hassle and I don't really recommend it. Um, there is another option. Um, there's actually a couple options. Uh, Pluggy is one of them, uh, but I will not be explaining Pluggy today. Pluggy is a mod that allows you to uh, have extended stash space along with some other nifty features, but I feel that it adds way too much to the game and I want to try and still keep it simple. So I decided to go with GoMule, and I have it here on my desktop and I'll show you uh, how to get all this started. And pretty much it's a simple program that allows you to transfer in between uh, different characters in single player and this is what it will look like and you'll be able to pick this up and drop it over here and then i can save it and it will be on this character uh these are mules right now but first let's show you how to install it so first we're going to go to uh sourceforge i'll be linking all of these in the description below so you don't have to go crazy looking for them but this is go mule make sure to download it when you download it, you'll have this folder, open that up, and you'll have these files in it. Uh, what I've done was I actually copied all of these files and I transferred them over into my root directory of Diablo 2. So wherever you have Diablo 2, make sure you put these files in here, and you should be uh, set for step one. Our next step uh, to actually get GoMule to work is to download Java. Make sure you have the latest up-to-date version of Java. Um, I do know that someone had, I believe, a non-English version and it didn't work. I don't know if that's actually uh, something that may cause an issue, but make sure to download Java, preferably the English version if you can. And when you have that installed, you should be able to be on your next step for GoMule. Now, I know that most programs have an executable file, but GoMule does not. You will be using this right here, GoMule.jar. What I usually did was I actually made a shortcut. So I send to desktop, create a shortcut, and I actually have it right here on my desktop. So I'm, I don't have to go and find it ever again, but it's right here. Now, there's another step before you can use this. Some people have issues with this, others won't, but I will explain this in case you do have an issue. Um, sometimes whenever you're in GoMule and you try and transfer something and save it, it will give you an error that it wasn't able to save. If you have this problem, follow these steps. So you go to your Diablo root directory folder, so Program Files Diablo. Uh, what you're going to do is right click on the Diablo 2 folder and go to Properties. And then from Properties here, you're going to go to Security and then you're going to Edit. And what you want to do is you want to make sure that you're an admin and everything um, and you want to give full control of the users. So any of the users that are on there, go to your users, full control, make sure that all of this is checked. Uh, you won't probably be able to do that, but make sure full control is checked because sometimes it has a problem reading these folders in here and it will not be able to save your characters correctly. If you have an old version of Diablo 2, right now our current version is at 1.14D as of the creating of this video. If you have anything that is 1.13 and lower, your character save files will be here. There should be a save folder, it should have all of your single player characters in there. Uh, that is where you're going to be pointing your GoMule. So when you open up GoMule, this is our lovely program. You're going to open up your character and you are going to go to that folder. Um, but right now I don't have it to that folder because I have the newest version um, of 1.14 and that is actually in a different location. So if you have an older version, make sure you point it to here and locate your save file in the program files Diablo 2 save folder. If you have the newer version, you're going to want to go here users so you're going to go to your users you know your username saved games and diablo 2 and that's where everything has been moved so i actually encountered a problem before 
when I was from 113 and then 114. All of my saves have been erased and I didn't know where they went, but they're actually really just right here in your user's, your username, save games and Diablo 2 folder. So make sure that you locate them there. And so when you actually find them, so this is where mine is, see users, my name, save games, Diablo 2, there they are. You can actually open whatever one's up you want. I actually have some open, so what I'll do, maybe I'll just open this guy just for giggles. So this is my throw barb, and I have a bunch of different things on him. Let's make this bigger. I also recommend that you are not logged into a character when you are transferring. You can screw some stuff up, so make sure that you're on the main screen or out of Diablo 2, and you should be fine. So let's say that I want to transfer some things off. So I'm going to open up another one. And everything that you open up will be here. So if you're so, you don't see any of your characters, just make sure that you open up a character and double click on them and they should show up. So there's a couple different ways of transferring. And I usually did this way because I like to visually see things. But if you don't want to keep creating mules, then it's going to be, uh, you know, it'll be a pain in the ass to keep making more mules. And it's, you know, I don't want to do that. You can actually make stashes. And a stash here just makes it into a really, really simplified thing. So I'm like, all right, well, this is this is kind of a pain in the butt. I don't want to see all this. So I'm just going to click on them. And they actually show up over here. Click on them, and then I can click back on my stash. And I can even click on pick up all or drop all, and I'm just going to drop them all. And this saves directly into a little stash. You won't have to have multiple characters. It makes it a little bit easier to have a nice clean setup and you can hold a lot of a lot more items and you don't have to worry about making new characters but for some reason i'd like to see things visually so i don't usually use this whenever you do transfer something make sure you save it there's a little save all icon up here always constantly save make sure everything's saved because you don't want to transfer something and all of a sudden it's not there anymore so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna take these out double click because i'm not gonna actually use this Gonna get rid of this, drop them all back in here. Oh, they didn't work correctly there, so let's move them around. And there we go, and you can hover over them. It'll show you the stats of everything. It even actually shows you the item level, which is actually um, really useful as well. So if you're looking for certain items with the item levels and you wanna roll certain sockets in items or craft them, it is very, very useful. So just for demonstration purposes, we will, let's say my stash, in Thor, we just want to move over this meat scrapper. Obviously, I'm not going to be using a meat scrapper on a throw bar, but we'll take a look at that when he shows up. And you can actually see other things on your characters, what quests have been completed, your corpse, if your character died, you can see what was on your corpse. Uh, keep in mind, if you are playing on hardcore, you will not be able to remove things here. You can only view it, so if you die, you cannot remove them so keep that in mind but there is another thing too is that if you do die in hardcore you are able to take things out of your stash from that character or your inventory you just cannot take things off your actual character you can see stats from your mercenary you could even transfer gold if you want to so what we're going to do is we're actually going to close out of this since we did transfer over our meat scrapper on thor going to close out of this for a single player let's open this up Usually what happens too is whenever you're using Gomiel, the characters you just recently used will usually be up at the top. So we just use your stash and Thor. Go to hell. And he should have Meat Scrapper in his Haradra Cube. There it is. So I actually really don't want this in here because that's just going to have way too much pain in the butt space. So I'm going to get out of here and remove it. We're going to go back into Gomiel. We're going to go back to Thor, my stash, click and drag these over, save it, close out. I actually have two things here, so I have a single player because I also use the uh, rune words uh, text file. Go back to single player, Thor, L, and he shouldn't have that there anymore. So it has been moved. And just to make sure that it has been moved correctly, oops, we can go back to my stash, and it should be right there. 
So that is a simple way on how to transfer uh, items in between single player characters rather than using Pluggy um, and having a bunch of more bulk to the game and you want to try and keep it simple. So just to recap, you want to download GoMule, make sure that you have Java installed, and then you're also going to want to go to your main directory of your Diablo folder. Hello. Let me program files, Diablo 2, right click, properties, security, edit, users, allow full control. That should usually clear up any other additional problems that may occur. And then you should be good. And make sure to put a desktop, you know, a shortcut to your desktop for GoMule. And it's gomule.jar, so don't be looking for executables. It's definitely not that. It is using Java. So you should be all set on using your gomule for transferring in between your characters. Any questions, comments, please let me know. Uh, leave a comment and let me know what you think about this. Uh, if you enjoyed this and this was helpful, like and share. Have a good one, guys.